So what is RS-256 and what role does it play in the JSON Web Token world? Well, RS-256 is a way on how you can create a signature for a JSON Web signature token so it's basically uh, used to sign like the header and the claim set and to produce like the signature here which i've drawn in blue over over here and the important thing to understand is that rs-256 is like an abbreviation for rsa and for sha-256 so rsa is an asymmetric crypto system that relies on a private and a public key and sha-256 is like a common cryptographic hash function and the idea is that with RSA, you generate a key pair. So you have a private key and you have a public key. And with the private key, you can create the signatures. And with the public key, you can verify the signatures. But with a public key, you cannot create signatures, right? So public key is verify only. And now the question is, how does this algorithm work in, in principle? So on a conceptual level, what you do is you take your header, you take your claim set, and you take your private key and then you run it through this uh, algorithm. And the way this works is you encode these two in like a proper way. So that means this one gets base64 URL encoded. This one gets base64 URL encoded. You put a dot in between of those and then you hash it with SHA-256. And the hash that you get out, you encrypt with the RSA and your, with the RSA crypto, uh, with the RSA cipher and with your private key. And this is actually a signature. So people always say, oh yeah, signature is such a fan fancy thing. But actually it's quite simple, right? So you take something, you hash it so that it's short, right? And then you take like this value, like the result of that hash function, and then you encrypt it with RSA. And that is like your signature. And this is then the last part of this JSON Web signature token. Yeah. So you need to have the private key in order to generate the signature. And in order to, to verify like all of this, what you need to do is you need to take like the public key. So you only need to be in possession of the public key, not in of the private key to verify signatures. You take the public key and you do a similar approach. So due to the way that RSA is built, it allows you to uh, verify whether a signature is correct, but you cannot create new signatures with the public key. Okay, so you take the public key, you verify that the signature is valid, and then in the end, you end up with a yes or no. And if it's yes, you know that no one has tampered with the data, and you also know that it has most probably been created by the party who owns the private key. We assume that you keep like the private key private. So these days, if you have the choice, um, like RSA is still like very popular, but in general, you should rather rely on elliptic curve cryptography to, to sign like everything simply because elliptic curve cryptography is the more modern way of doing things and you get similar security guarantees with way shorter keys right so with rs-256 you maybe need a 2048 bit key and with es-256 uh, like based on elliptic curve cryptography you can have a way shorter key but like the same or comparable like security guarantees so if you have the choice don't use RS-256, but rather use ES-256. It's just a better algorithm. Yeah, so that's it pretty much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also reach out to me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at ProductionCoder. So thank you so much and uh, see you around. Bye-bye.